Hey Aries. This is going to be a you versus them reading. This is going to be for December 9th through the 16th. You versus them. Let's see what's going on, guys. You versus them. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Aries. What's going on with Aries? This is a general reading, you guys, so it's not going to resonate for everyone. But if it does, um, that will be wonderful because that is my aim. You guys, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. One more shuffle, guys. Aries. What's going on with my Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. All right. Seven of Cups, state of confusion. Um, it looks like, you know, this is this is sometimes this is having options, but a lot of times it's really just not knowing what to do about a given situation, about a certain um, predicament that you, predicament that you find yourself in. Um, not knowing how to approach someone or something. Not knowing if it's going to be beneficial for you or, you know, just not knowing how they are, how they're going to react, but wanting to really go in and, um, you know, maybe offer somebody something or accept an offer even. Some of you may be fighting with, you know, accepting an offer from somebody. Could be a Scorpio that you're dealing with here. You know, I feel like this is more of a cross watcher um, spread. So it may be cross watchers here, Scorpio energy. A lot of times Scorpio and Aries can exhibit the same kind of energy on a certain level um, as far as the, the passion about things. Um, but this is something being put to an end and like transforming that situation so I, I get the impression that um, some of you were very undecided about an individual or circumstance that ended and now you're wanting to approach it in a different way or somebody else is wanting to approach something with you in a different way to bring it back to reinvent it. Yeah, they they see you as the Queen of Pentacles, somebody that's very um, abundant and, you know, just caring in general. Takes care of her family, takes care of the people that she holds dear and close to her. Um, and that is how they see you. So they see real prosperity. They see real, like, you know, uplifting energy where you're concerned like you you are you're it okay now the other person is is really wanting to you know go in a positive direction maybe things weren't so positive in the past but now it's like you know you're the positivity that they see ahead of them in their future here with chariot it's a cancer um, energy present, but they're very slow move, slow moving to act. But this is a very dependable night here. Very dependable night. You know, if I was going to be any night, I would want the Knight of Pentacles or have any night because this is a very my fan is blowing this card, guys. But this is a very um, dependable person. They don't make fast moves. They kind of think out things before they actually. Um, you know, go ahead. They don't jump into things with both feet. They kind of test the waters first to see, you know, the right way to move, the right way to maneuver, what to say, you know. But there is definitely love between the two of you. This person loves you. Now, I feel like they're more in tune with 
you know, loving you versus you them, I don't think that you don't love them. I think you're undecided about them. Excuse me. I think you're undecided about them, actually. Um, you're wondering if they have changed. You're wondering if it's okay to give them, you know, love and affection and attention because I feel like, you know, that, that didn't pan out for you before. And so you're really kind of undecisive about it. I feel like you do love this person to some degree. I don't think that you really got to a point where if this is a person from the past, this is somebody that you never really got to explore the full depths of a relationship with. Because these are your feelings right here as the night. This is how they see you. But this is how you feel about them. You know, you have love for them. But it's, it's not that grounded, stable love that you feel towards them. And they match you here with the Knight of Pentacles. You guys are, you know, on the same basically playing field here as far as wanting to care for each other and how you feel about the connection. But I don't think either one of you is solid in how you feel and how you feel that the other one feels too. It's what I see. Okay. This is somebody from your past. This is somebody that feels like, you know, you guys could really be something good together here. They reminisce about you. They think about you. And I feel like you do as well here with the Six of Cups being present. But they're a little confused, too, about, you know, which way to go, how to approach you. Because the Ace and the Six of Cups is a Seven of Cups as well. Okay? So, you guys are in a connection whether you know it or not, because I don't know if this person has really made their position, you know, truly known to you, but this is like, um, this is in their mind. This is how they're feeling. This is how you're feeling too. You, you know of them. They know of you because you guys have a past together. Um, but I don't think either one of you has really put your feelings out there. I really don't. Okay, Aries. So that is what I have for you versus them. Oh, I see Taurus energy here, Leo. Um, I feel like Virgo's here. Cancer, Scorpio energy. Okay, guys. So that's what I have for you for the 9th through the 16th. I'll speak with you soon.